One week after Ida came ashore as a Category 4 hurricane in Louisiana, more than half a million people are still without power. We know there are a lot of people out there who are in fact hurting. Uh, and, and we're going to continue to work hard every single day to bring additional relief and to make progress. Residents waiting in long lines for water, ice, food and fuel. The situation made worse by the extreme heat. Every night it get a little bit warmer, you know, and then try to to, to tough it out, but without any air, you got to get out. It's, it's just too tough. The mayor of Grand Isle says recovery will take months. Look like a bomb went off. We have no water, we have no electricity, and we have no food. Some of the hardest hit areas could be without power until the end of September. Ida's path of destruction stretched all the way to the northeast. In Philadelphia, the Vine Street Expressway is finally reopened after crews cleared the floodwaters. Nearly 800 bridges across Pennsylvania will now need post-flood inspections. New Jersey saw flooding and tornadoes spawned by Ida and then homes and businesses destroyed by fire. Those fires unreachable amid the floodwaters. President Biden got a first-hand look at some of the devastation in Louisiana on Friday. On Tuesday, he will travel to some of the hardest hit areas in New Jersey and New York. The human toll, my friends, was tremendous. 1,200 homes have been impacted by the storm. The cost to rebuild and repair the damage inflicted by Ida is already estimated to be in the tens of billions of dollars. Phil Lipoff, ABC News, New York.